Hello everyone and welcome back to Xenonauts. Last we left off, we had a very successful mission um, where we don't think I don't actually think we lost a single man, and we took over the uh, the nice wee alien vessel that was there, um, which is a far cry from the mission beforehand in which the entire of the Xenonaut team died, which wasn't very good, seeing as we're meant to be saving the world and all that jazz. So I think that's just going to be like the backstory. Is like uh, this is the actual team. So these guys here are like. The, the the actual team um zed oh my god i've got a guy called zed sergeant zed <laughs> yes cool so sergeant zed and his team are, uh, are are the real heroes that kind of come in at the beginning of the story and they're all like grizzled and uh they all come from different parts of the world one's like a mercenary and one's like a grizzled sergeant who acts tough but really cares really lo like lo about his team it's gonna be great so that's going to take one more turn for that stuff. Um, we only got $126,000. Of course we're dollars, even though that we've only just made a base in America. Yeah. So we should definitely build a radar array, but they cost too much. So we need to kill some more aliens to make money. Oh, cool. So we re researched the alien plasma rifle. So it's basically just telling us it's fucking ridiculously tough. Um... And yeah, so they can, yeah, so it's like a ballistic assault rifle, but much, much, much better. Oh, improved combat armor, that's fantastic. Um, we need to get that right now. Um, yeah, so that's good. We only need that to be good. Good, and then we can try, there we go, that's good. So we've got them both on good, which will speed up the process a lot more. <laughs> Right, this base here. Hi guys. So we got that'll be an that's actually that's a gun, isn't it? That's a missile battery, not an alien array, that's fine. Um we should probably get another laboratory. Like so. And Yeah, that costs hundred thousand, so that's us out of money now. It's just so we can try and speed up some of this research. We need to get that done very, very quickly. There we go, Mr. Bactory, and then there's two hangers now. But we really need that radar up there, for it, or else we're just completely blind. That was probably one of the first things I should have built. Um, but never mind. Uh, there's no point in buying jets and things at the moment at all over there in Super Secret 2, because um, without a radar array to spot the enemies. Right, UFO detected. It's small, so I'm guessing it's going to be another scout. So we're going to intercept it just with a single condor. Um... So it will speed that up. Oh, it's escaped. That was it disappearing. Unfortunately, there's, there's no point in chasing it all the way over there. That's frustrating, but there's not much we can do. Let's go ahead and speed up. Hello, Jackal Combat Armor. That's so good. Right, research screen. Let's go ahead and get that pistol. Commence product. Excellent. Now we only need you... Still only going to be average. Okay, whatever. Um, what we need? There we go. Workshop screen. We need some jackal armor. I mean, we should get a fox coat. Yeah, it costs too much though. How much does this cost? Twenty. We got twenty-six thousand. No, it costs twenty thousand. So we're going to build one. Oh. Um. So we're going to build one. And it's going to take our engineers like forever. Right, xenophobia, xenopedia. We've got alien allies researched. That's good. Almost all of them are all... Yeah, so... Unfortunately, we don't know how to... To... Um, to, 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 to do the thing with them. Let's go ahead and chuck it. All the scientists into researching the pistol. Uh, we can't actually you like do anything with the alien allies at the moment. Okay, so we've got... Zed Sorin. Zed, Zed Sorin. Sergeant Zed. Oh, and he's the one with the MG. <laughs> this is this is so good. It's like an action film, right? You um, you need some armor. Other, how do I how do I equip you with? Oh, there we go. Basic armor, jackal armor. So he looks like an idiot now. <laughs> Why has he got glasses? His his portrait ruins his uh his toughness. <laughs> the only way I can change his portrait. Uh, never mind. We've got the nerdy Zed Zorin, who's a sergeant. He's maybe not as grizzled as you'd hope. Construction of laboratory is complete. Yeah, cool. UFOs. <gasps> oh, no. Um, let's go ahead and intercept them. I didn't check what type of UFO it is, so let's just go ahead and be safe and launch two condors. 
Oh, okay. It's small. I think that's just going to be another scout, so we'll launch one. Okay, one down. See, this is why. Here we go. Fighter. It's a fighter. Because I sent two, we've still got 100% victory. So let's go ahead and take that down. And we're, we're fine now. Let's get him to return to base. The following items have been recovered from the... From the... Okay. Fighter Deco data core and alien allies. Oh, it looks like the fighter went down and was destroyed rather than uh, able for us to come and destroy it. Okay. Let's go ahead and shoot down the scouts. And then return the fighter to base. And then we right at the edge, we can launch... Oh, return to base. Crash site. Intercept with Charlie 1. And let's go ahead and jump into our, our next um, dangerous... Let's let's go grab ourselves an alien head mission. I like to think that my uh, my Xenonauts are decorating the Charlie like um, Chinook with the skulls of the enemies. So we've just got alien skulls all, all over the place to scare them. So if you think about it, this game is just teaching you to to fear and despise alien life, which you know I'm cool with, but some pro some people probably wouldn't be. Okay, let's have you come to this rock. So there's quite a lot of cover just outside the. Uh oh, it's also a night mission. We all love night missions because they're not at all unfair, and they don't make us die to aliens. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't know how I was going to finish that. Okay, let's just make sure there's no bad guys behind us. Ugh, I do not like this. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, there's, it actually goes quite far down that way. I don't see anyone, though. But the top of the map's there, so I don't think there's anyone there, but I should probably check it just in case. Yeah, we're safe. Right, now you come. Here we go, Sergeant Zed Zorin. Zed Zorin. Let's get you... Um, we're going to have you over here. You're going to crouch, and you're going to chuck your seeing flare thing. <laughs> Good throw. That actually landed exactly where I wanted it to do. Also, apologies for my sniffles. I have a horrendous cold at the moment. Um... And I'm going around town today because it's Edinburgh Fringe. If you don't know what that is, Google it because that's like a reason why you should come to Edinburgh during August. Um, right. Cover, 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 cover. You can just go there. And um, where do we not see? We don't see over here. So we may as well throw it over there. Good, good. End turn. This is where one of our guys dies to hidden alien okay so that's not happening right so we look the map extends down a little bit that way and a little bit that way so we're kind of like in the middle again which isn't good so I'm gonna focus on going down this way I think rather than going up although that kind of looks like it's the edge of the map actually so we should maybe yeah I think we're gonna focus on going this way here <laughs> so first off let's get the MG into position That guy! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Don't like this game sometimes. Let's get you crouched. And let's make sure that everyone sees him very clearly. Here, have a flare right at your feet. So, you can't, s you can't do anything at the moment because you have no things left to do. Um, I think we're going to have you hide behind him. And then... How much is that going to cost to throw? Uh, there's no way he can make that throw, I don't think. Damn. Okay, so we're going to use... That's going to be blocked for 75%. Screw it. It's worth trying anyway, because at the very least, sometimes you can get them to... Um, What's what's it, what's it called? Ricochet. No, not ricochet. Suppress. <laughs> Words. <laughs> Words. Okay, so you can't see anything that way. Oh, damn. Wasn't meaning that. Didn't keep an eye on his TMUs. His time units. 
right okay you here I crouched let's throw another flare down here just in case we get um ambushed we don't want that to happen go cool. right you shieldman let's have you come up here and face him and crouch and let's get a rifleman behind this is not going to be a good turn for me or at least I don't know yeah at least we've got that pillar between us so unless the alien runs up like a like a madman we should be okay I'm tempted to send this guy here but he's just gonna die if I do that so um, this guy's gonna come over here nope that's gonna send him in the middle of the open um, he can't really make it anywhere decent so let's go put him inside the chopper again cool and down you go right so there's nothing I can do now which is slightly worrying but oh well that's a sniper so it's good to keep him back regardless right end turn okay so he's appeared out of nowhere only one of my guys had time units to shoot. He's managed to completely outflank us, but I don't think he's got. He won't have any time units at which to fire with, standing here, because he ran straight into the middle of us for some reason. So that's interesting. So it was very easy for me to just take a full burst, and because every single one of those shots hit, we killed him. So that was fun. That was good. Corporal Arthur Stevens gets the uh, draws first blood. Okay, so it looks like there's no enemies between these rocks, which is good. Let's go ahead and chuck another flare down this way. That's also a, a good reason to um, spread your guys out. Obviously, I didn't do very well there to try and get behind cover, but because these guys were over there, he thought he could flank around my forces and ended up walking into the middle of them because we were so spread out. Right, so let's move group one up. Um, I think up to about here. My village is being raided. How dare they? If you know what game that is. <laughs> Don't judge me too much for having it on the phone. Oh! Oh! That's not good. And you miss. Of course you miss. Right, Sergeant, it's your turn. Oh, look at that. Zed's are in. He's like, no! None of my squad is going to die today. And just... Machine well, no, because he's a nerd. So he's like, no! None of my squad's going to die today. That was really mean to nerds everywhere. I'm making a video on YouTube about a game. I'm like as, as nerdy as they come. Uh. Right, take him out. Okay, one hit. One hit's not good enough. Okay, that's good. Please hit him again. Please hit him again. Damn it. Okay, sniper, you you've got to you've got to pick up the slack here, dude. This guy's gonna die. 62%. Do it. Mm. We got no one left to fire at him. Damn, 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 damn. This is not good. Oh. No. Oh. That's not fair. No. We've lost someone already. Why do I always seem to get them so that they just like immediately die rather than getting wounded? <laughs> Other than that one mission where they all died, my my fellows seem to just just get slaughtered before they even have a chance of. There we go, he's suppressed. That's good. Pistolier, we need to get you up. I'm starting to fire at him. Um, it just seems unfair, personally. There we go, he's down. Good for you, Zetor. That's two aliens he's taken out by himself. Um. Yeah, these guys just seem to die rather than having like a single chance of being able to do anything useful. I think the alien craft's going to be this way. Let's bring you up here. And get our shield guys together. Let's move on. Yeah, oh, you can hear the door opening. Um, let's throw that out there just in case it's down here. Can't see anything down there. I'm worried about down there, though. Let's move you up to about here. 
Do you see anything? I definitely can't. That's useless. That was a terrible throw. Try better this time. There we go. That's better. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. You can throw that way. Where is where is the alien ship? <laughs> Why is it so difficult to find it? And now there's like no cover over there. So it's making me worried. Come on, chuck that out of there. Clear that area. Uh. Come on, Zed Sauron. Let's get behind a shieldman. We've only got seven of us left because we've already got man down. Man down! We need to get some of these armors because like, we're going to start losing this, these basic grunts like candy. That's not a phrase that works, I don't think. Um, right, let's head this way. I, I have a hunch the ship's over here. So we're going to go over here. Uh, do you have any idea how frustrating it is not to find it? Knowing that at any second, oh, yeah, aliens could just appear out of the black and start blasting away. I decided that this, since this guy's facing that way, an alien would come out of here because that's just sod's luck. We need to clear the air. I heard some noises from over here noises which I did not make me feel comfortable like in the slightest no nope, you can't catch okay let's get the sergeant behind his men and he's gonna throw one that way I think the ship's here nope ah. well it was worth trying you you can throw it down here How much does it cost you to throw? Too much, okay. You, how much is it going to cost you to throw? Too much, right, then we're done. I heard the door open again. Makes me nervous when I hear the door open again. Come on, dude, where's this ship? It's not hard to find a ship. Yes, we found it, perfect, right, it's over there. Easy peasy. We're now ready to engage. Let's group them all up. So they're all in cover and stuff. Make sure we don't get outflanked. Good, good. That's useless. There's already one there. Whatever. Okay, let's get these guys to move up down here, I think. Just need to clear down here. There we go. Have you crouch. And then just have him move up. I don't think he's in danger of getting hit from that far away. Let's just make sure we can try and get rid of this blackness. Alright, we're ready. Let's go. Okay, so let's move up. We're going to move up this way. To here. Like thus. And then we're going to face that way. And crouch. And he's going to do the same. He's not going to be able to crouch because he doesn't have enough time units left. I think one's fitter than the other. Come on, dude. And you are just going to get behind one of them. That way. That way, that way. Okay. And you guys, let's just have you starting to move up. Up flank, coming from the super flank here. Right, end turn. Oh, really? One hit and he goes down. One hit. One. <sighs> That's not fair. I mean, if you look at the uh, ground, there's just 
He's dead. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Ugh. Right. Go on. This is silly. I don't like night missions. They do horrible things to your men. I can't even find the bad guy. There he is. You get up here. Hmm. One hit. There we go, he's down. He's down. Oh, we suppressed the wrong guy. Sergeant again opens up with that, like, the M60. I'm effectively treating Zod Sarin. Z Z Sorin as a as like a nerdy Rambo. I think that's effectively what he is. Right, so this isn't doing too well. We've lost two men. No, 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 you're not. No, stop, stop, stop. Oh, coward. We're only two men down. She's already running. You're less than useful, if I'm honest. Right. Shield, get up to here. Face the door. Face the music. You, get behind the shield. Face the door. You, like, shout at him as you run past. Like, some, some like, really, like, cutting, uh, cutting words of just disgust. There he is. Why why did none of my guys see him there? You come back and grab your shit. Wow, I got him exactly where his shit was. Pick up your pistol. Pick up your shield. There we go. That's better. Kinda want all of these guys to have There we go. See like that. Able to, to shoot him, even though he's gonna wound up now. Alright, you. Get here, aim at the door, get crouched. You, get here, aim at the door, get crouched. You, uh, I guess get here, aim at the door, get crouched. Machine gunner, get behind that shieldman, Mr. Sergeant, and get facing. He's not going to be able to fire anything, but it's worth doing anyway. And you, get here, face the door, get crouched. And you can just stay there because you're already fired. Oh, he ran away. He retreated from the entrance, which is good. And that's enabling us to move right up to the front. Like so. Get them both crouched. Right, we want the sergeant to be right behind them. Because that NG is going to do a lot of good in just wrecking them. And we're going to rifle them next to him. And then we're going to have a sniper on this side. And another rifleman on the other side. Oh wait, no. Yeah, sorry, other way around. Rifleman and sniper. Right, and turn. Cool, we're now ready. Open the door. Oh, there's only one guy. Yeah, of course there is, because like, there was like six of them outside. Right, fire. Okay, maybe we, sh maybe we should just... Hedge our bets. No! Reload! God damn it. That's the ominous clicking sound. Sweet. This guy's good. Patterson, taking him out. <gasps> what? Are you kidding me? There's no more. There's another alien somewhere. Ah, uh, quick. Immediately check your rear. Get into cover. There's another alien somewhere. <laughs> you, pistolier. Just double check that there's nothing inside here. There are literally. Okay, so there's definitely no more, more aliens in there. Alright, we need to move out and get into cover and shit. You're gonna come around this side. And you're gonna throw a thingy. Throw it. Okay, I think we're all good. That side. Pistol here, out you come. And out you come. Right. 
I don't know where he is. He's probably just going to start shooting out of because we've taken that. Yeah, I think the alien's AI makes him come back towards it. Um, where could he be? Well, he's obviously up there. He's obviously going from that direction because we've we've explored every other option there is. Shields get a position. Get crouch. Rifleman get behind them. Sergeant get behind them. And you can, you know what, you dude, you can just stay where you are. Right, move up. Like a tactical formation thing. I like to call it a tactical turtle. What's the shortcut for sh for crouch? Because in moments like this when I'm trying to get them all to do it. It would be useful. Okay. Let's move up here. Cover. I see cover. That's good. Hopefully we can use that. Let's highlight the area. Don't see any bad guys. Can we make it all the way up? No, we can't. Behind the shield then. You, you can make it up almost. I think we're safe though. So anyway, let's turn. Uh, I think I broke the game by ending too quickly there. Actually, yeah, you're a shieldman. You don't need cover. Well, it's good to have them in cover, but they don't really need it. Not like the rest of the guys. Where's this bloody alien? God damn it. Why is it so tough to find an alien? Okay. <sighs> okay, shield dude, move up more. Throw your make see in the night. Uh, why is this so straighting? He has to be somewhere. It'd be funny if we then get engaged from this side down here because he's moved. That's the, end of, that's the edge of the map there. So this is like the only area we haven't discovered down here. God damn it. Where is he? And why is he not dead? We already killed like half the map. This is making me nervous. Hell is this guy? Get you facing all directions, so we can at least see him coming. We've j although we've just covered that area, so where is the alien? If you can't tell, I'm kind of using the shields as like human sacrificial lambs. I just have a feeling that he's down here somewhere some reason. Right, let's get to the bushes. Cacti. Hmm. Where is he? Where is he? Maybe he's down here. But we've just we've like seen the whole map. Maybe I'm bugged out. I don't know. Right, I know I know that you can end missions by um, capturing the UFO, so I'm wondering if it is bugged out. So I think what we're going to do is, I think we're going to jump into the UFO and hold it for, I think it's like a couple turns. And that way you can win the mission that way. So that's what we're going to do. Come on dudes. Up to the UFO. We're gonna make it there, and we're all gonna be happy because it's UFO. This guy was really fit. Right up to the door. 
out through the door. So we're going to open the door again and we're going to get inside. So first off you go there and then we'll get the mole in position. So rifleman there. Crouched. It's going to be a rifleman back here. Crouched. We're going to have uh, and then, then the two shields of the two guys. We're going to have them here. And here. Oh, I didn't mean that. Go back there. We'll have you here. Like there. And crouch. And we'll have you here. Like there. And crouch. And then we'll have him back. And we'll turn around next time. Like that. Okay. I believe we should win if I just get through. Nope. No, there we go. So I think I was one alien left. I don't know where he was, but it was going to take me forever to find him. So we won anyway because we, we held it. So we got 28,000 from that. That's alright. Not amazing, but it's alright. Took a bit too long. Um, but it's fine. We lost two people, so that wasn't good. UFO detective. Let's go ahead and intercept that with. Condor. Yeah, so that should be fine. In any case, that's actually all we're going to do today. So, thank you very much for watching, and I shall be seeing you again next time.